Hey guys, we're back with another video today. Today I'm doing Makeup Revolution. So if you like what you see, then keep watching. Okay, so I've started with the eyes. The first is the Revolution Regenerate Palette. So just a really colourful palette. And then, I think this is Revolution Pro. I'm not sure if it's part of the actual Makeup Revolution brand. Because there are so many now, I can't keep up. Is the Abacadabra Glitter Palette. To be honest with you, this isn't that great. I'm not really a fan. I don't know if you can see, but it's really clumpy. Okay, it's just falling, so let me close that. So, yes, let's start. I don't really know. I, I haven't really got a plan for an eye look, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll see. Okay, so first we're going to take Revolutions Pro Concealer. Just going to do a little bit first to give me a base for my eyeshadow. Okay, so first I'm taking the colour Attached. It's just a beige colour just to put all over the lid for like the first colour okay now that's done you can't even see it's literally the colour of my eyelids so I might take the colour next to it called New day. I might just go along here. <laughs> just like above the crease. the next colour which is daydream okay so next I'm thinking of doing a pink now there's a few pinks you've got ringleader which is like a hot pink. You've got Fearless, which is a little bit lighter, and then this one down here, Underdog, which is like a sh one, like a sh half a shade or a shade darker than Ringleader. I might go for Fearless, because I want to do a cut crease anyway. But give it a base. You can't even see, but basically I did yellow, orange and then pink. Now I'm going to do a cut crease and use my glitter palette. On the concealed bit, I'm going to take Hocus Focus, which is a pink duochrome clear puffy because when you turn it, it's got purple specks. So next is Revolution Pro Brow Pencil, so it's just got a spoonie on the end.
brow pencil or anything but that brow pencil is kind of poop so I will fix that after let's just move on to the face because I can't be dealing with this anymore so let's go back in with the concealer I have no idea why I'm using my finger so let's just blend that in This is supposed to be full coverage, so you can't really use it as a foundation because it spreads out quite a lot. Sorry for my focus, I just cannot see what the hell is going on. Okay, so first I've got their Revolution Pro foundation, which matches the concealer. Or I have the Revolution Pro Drops. These are both in F10. I've also got the Fast Base, but that's part of the Makeup Revolution one. But that's an F8. So maybe I should do half, half. And yeah, we'll see. And then on this side, we'll do this one. It is kind of darker. This side is really dewy. Well, it's this side, it's not matte, but it's still a bit dewy. But the difference is the two. If you look here, this is that full coverage, you can't see anything. Well, it's this, you can still see that marks here. They pretty much look the same, but as I'm like a full coverage kind of person, this side wins for me. It's the next we're going to powder with the Revolution Pro Finishing Powder basically just white okay so let's get rid of some of that dewiness so I'm just gonna pat it on look how much of a difference it's made already I forgot I need to go back in with some concealer and do my under eyes powder the under eyes This lighting needs to go away. Don't worry, I am the same colour as my neck in real life. I don't know why it's doing that. I do have single highlighter and bronzer, which is in my big palette. These three you get in a pack from Makeup Pro. They are really tiny, but they're good for travelling, I guess. I can't get over how flawless this side looks. And this side on the non flawless side. So, next, we're going to put some highlight on. The highlight it comes with is a champagne y colour. So, I'm going to put this down my nose. So last but not least is their liquid lipstick. I bought this online so I kind of had no clue what colour I would get. I was kind of disappointed, I thought it would be more of a pinky nude and it's quite, it's more on the light side than the dark side. But I bought online so all the nude swatches look the same so you can't really see. But this is in the colour Visionary. Pink. Don't you love when that sound happens? Didn't hardly oh, work. It is. I'm not a fan of the applicator. It's literally flat. Like there's no dough for applicator on a square. 
But yeah, let's do this. I'm not a fan of the colour, but if I wanted to, really, I could go out and get another one because these are only about four quid. But yeah, that is it for this video. Makeup Revolution is really cheap and I think you do get great quality for your products because just look at my base. Cause she's all about the base, about that base. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys like my video. Let me know what products you use. Until then, I'll see you guys later.